Okay, so let me introduce you guys to the man who's going to be recording all of the power building with calisthenics videos. So please sorry, sorry, thank this guy, Matt. So I feel, I feel, I feel that clicking in my right arm. I'm only doing one play, just one play. You okay, dude? You tired, Micah? Are you tired? Whoa. You wake up pretty fast, Micah. Oh, don't suck. Don't. Hold on, Micah. Let me let me get you. Let me get you your soother. Okay. Get you your soother. Yeah. 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 So I'm just coming back from seeing my son and one thing people have to realize when chasing the dream is to never ever lose sight of family and friends. Always try to give time to family and friends whenever you can, especially if you have a son, a daughter, a child, somebody who depends on you. They depend on you more for just financial reasons but for love, for just emotional security, mental stability always keep them a part of your schedule. So we had an entire conversation that we thought we were recording. <laughs> and it wasn't even recording. <laughs> oh fuck man. I can't even I can't remember what the hell we were talking about man. We were just talking about doing yeah. a powerlifting competition. Yeah. I might do a powerlifting competition, but I have to make sure I'm able to do this full time, bro. Because working a job, taking care of my son, and trying to make videos consistently while trying to train for a power uh, powerlifting competition strictly isn't gonna be so easy for me. I've been powerlifting for about two years now. Um, I've done one meet, so I trained for a full year, and then I did a meet, and then I've trained again. Um, I am looking to cut down. Uh, before I do another powerlifting meet, and then just take it from there, see where it goes. Um, gonna I love go, the sport. Um, gonna go back to Kansas? Um, well, I got family out there, so that's the only reason why um, I did one out there. Um, I definitely want to do one close to home where I can have friends and family coming to watch me, supporting me, all that stuff. No. You know what, guys? Comment down below if you guys want him to do a power. I want him to do a powerlifting meet. Trust okay? me, I know. So, they guys, will. comment down below. I know they will. I tell him to do a powerlifting meet, okay? But that's what I'm saying. Like they're either gonna call me a bitch for saying no, <laughs> or call me a bitch or too weak for saying yes. Like you you know, you're too weak, bro. You, like you're too weak, man. You can't Come be on. strength over size if especially you're not after seeing today. If they see today's video, when they see today's ah, video, like shit. the clips before, <laughs> where I couldn't even lift the two. Well, I lifted 225. You I sumoed it. Yeah. get kicked out of the gym again. Don't worry too much. Let's just hope and pray that I don't get kicked out. People have been complaining lately. Man, we just gotta figure it out, man. If I get kicked out, then I don't know what type of videos I could put out. I'll make it work. Okay, so here's the workout. For those of you guys who are confused, the workout is five working sets of deadlifts, five working sets of overhead press. Then I'm going to move over to doing three sets of eight for chin-ups, 
three sets of eight for rows, three sets of eight for bicep curls, just to finish off the workout with the isolation exercise to bring out the muscle. Power building calisthenics, right? So yeah, that's my Wednesday workout. I didn't explain Monday's workout, but I'll explain to you guys when I do it again next week. So that was, so that was, how much weight? I had a 35, 35, 60. So like a 205, that's about 205. I'm going to be doing my working sets at 225, so two plates. As I told you guys, my goal for my squat was to reach 225 by March. And my goal by March is to at least reach 275 for five reps, at least three, but for five reps is the goal. Just thinking back from when I recorded that first video, how to do a pull up, and I'm like, oh, it's crazy. how far crazy. I came. It's crazy. And I just hope this work out, this works out, man. I just hope everything I've been working for actually pans out in the long run. So I can't lie, I think I may not be able to do this weight that well. Just because that last set, that 205 set was actually taking a toll on me. But we'll see how it goes. Last time I didn't think I was going to hit 300 last year. Some of you guys didn't think I was going to hit 300 last year, but I did. I did it in two weeks. Two weeks. So I'm giving myself two months to do it again. Remember, I actually switched to sumo squats. I feel like I'm passing out. Next deadlift session, I'm going to I'm going to switch over to sumo squats again because that was a lot more comfortable with me. Even though I hit my 300 pound deadlift with the conventional, the sumo squats felt a lot better on my back. Okay, F it. I'm gonna try this set because I don't feel like waiting until next week. <laughs> to try the sumos again. So let me try my second working set sumo. It's not gonna be the best form, but it's my first day back, man. My first day back deadlift. Felt so much stronger than the other one. The other one just puts too much strain on my back. I don't know if the form was that good, but I'm sure you guys will let me know down below. Third set, third set. Kind of hurt my back a bit. Should I get lower? Yeah, probably. Not liking that. Not liking that. What's up, man? Ooh, I still feel it. As soon as I pull. Okay. Alright, cool. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lower the weight for today just to focus on the form instead of the weight. Like quality over quantity. So I'm not I'm not finishing the deadlift today. Not because it's heavy or anything, but like I'm feeling the shooting pain on the right side of my lower back, and no lie, I'm feeling it in my right nut. <laughs> so, bro, I am not, I'm not trying to snap my shit up on the first <laughs> day or ever. I will continue again next week. Say what up to. Yo, what up? 
What up, guys? This you guys man. know me, right? You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know me. He follows, he follows my, he follows in my footsteps when it comes to commenting on people's videos. But we do it legit. This guy been telling me he wants to be, he wants to see me. I've learned from the master, though. You know what I have to do. But yeah, man, I'm gonna move over to uh, overhead press because I won't snap my back up in that way. I just do my rows, my chin ups, and my bicep curls. Okay, so I'm gonna work my way up to about 85 pounds. Right now I'm starting off at 65 for three sets warm up. Then I'll do five working sets overhead press at 85 pounds. Again, I stopped the deadlifts only because my back was paining me, not because the weight was heavy. Because when I went down again to one plate, I was feeling the shooting pain in my lower back on the right side again, and my right nut. So I'm not about busting my nuts over some, <laughs> no homo, over some deadlifts. Still trying to work on my form for the overhead press. I think I went a little narrow last time. So, let me try it again. It wasn't bad. It felt pretty nice. I think I could be, I think I could do 85 for my five working sets. I think my last PR was 115. That was for one rep though. I wanna hit that again by March. Okay, so I like narrow. Narrow is a little bit better. If I went too wide, it would feel awkward, so. Let me stay narrow. Bang out this last warm up set. But yeah, that, that really is the thing though. Like, in the fitness community, once your rep is destroyed, you're done. It's yeah. over, yeah. it's over. Like Vince G, some people, you guys don't understand, we were just talking yeah, on yeah, camera, yeah, but like, yeah. yo, Vince G, he destroyed himself. Buying the channel, buying POG isn't gonna do anything for him. So it's a little unstable sometimes. My left hand, my left arm actually pushes a lot better than my right. I think that even happens on the bench, but it's whatever. I'll work on it a lot more, and I usually, I realize that when I go lighter, it typically feels a lot more unstable, especially on the bench. When I go heavier, things feel a lot more stable. Can't really understand why, but that's how I feel. And that's the thing about YouTube, like remaining consistent is like, it's not as easy as you think for some people. Unless you're doing it full time, remaining consistent is, is not easy, right? If I'm coming to a gym and I get kicked out, that's not, that's out of my control, right? But if I'm able to stay here and travel here like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday and get videos in, then yo, I can make assistance. People were, people were getting mad at me for not being consistent with bodybuilding the calisthenics, but bro, think, think about it. When I was doing powerlifting in the calisthenics, I was consistent, three videos every single week, not even every other week. Every single week I was consistent. And then I fell off when I went to bodybuilding the calisthenics because when I'm outside, the weather is like, yo, if the weather sucks, that's it, you can't record. And, I, and then sometimes I skip the workouts because I didn't want to work out off camera. Because if I trained off camera, and then the next day, the weather was nice, I can't train again, that's my rest day. So therefore I don't get a video, people get mad at me, people call me a loser, people say I suck. But it's like, bro, when I was training off camera, I was making all the gains in the world. I was doing handstands, muscle ups, pistol squats, I was getting bigger, I reached up to 155, 157 before, everything. But when you add a camera on YouTube to, to everything, and on top of a job, and the kid and everything, it's, it's not as easy as you guys think, so. I just wanted to put it out there. Hey, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, we'll kick, we'll kick yeah. everybody's ass, bro. Probably, I don't know, he looks, he looks like he's like 40. What, nah, 40, he's not. 45? 45? No, he's like, no, nah, he's gotta be like, he's gotta be, he has to be over 50 for sure. Dude, he looks like he's 30. No, he's not. He's not. He's not over 50 for sure. This man will kick everybody. <laughs> he'll kick everyone's ass at this <laughs> Third working set, 85. Is it third? Whatever. Let me just do three more sets.
I'm gonna do two more sets, and I'm just gonna bang out the bodybuilding, the bodybuilding portion. So chin ups. Of course, I can do my chin ups, do my rows, do my bicep curls, and then go home, get a protein shake. Are we gonna go to that restaurant today, or, or are you? Time busy? is it? Probably. Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can go. That could be our Denny's, you That's know. That's cool. That That's shit cool. just got real. He's gonna put you in your. He's gonna put you in his will, man. He's like, hey, man. Gotta shake your hand. Talk about 12 cups of coffee. Yo, 12 cups of coffee would kill me, bro. That would be like the most ultimate pre-workout. Last set was killing me. I almost tipped over. My back still feels a little pain in the right side, but it's okay. At least the squats are a lot better now. And what was the other? Oh yeah, the bench. The bench is okay, the squats are okay, the overhead press is okay. I can't wait to start front squatting on Friday, but the deadlifts are just what's pissing me off so far. So this is where I excel. Calisthenics, three sets, of, three sets to failure for chin-ups, and then I'll do rows and bicep curls. That my chest is so is still sore from Monday's workout, and I kind I kind of feel it when I'm doing the chin ups. So with the second part of my workout, first part being power power lifting, second part being bodybuilding, I keep my rest period at 30 seconds, and I only do three sets till failure or at, or max 12 reps. And I do three exercises also. And as a matter of fact, I'll post my workout routine down below in the description. <sighs> okay, so I'm going over to rows, then I'm going over to bicep curls. My diet hasn't been on point lately. I've actually been trying to go vegan a little bit, little by little, but I'll speak more on that in a future video. First off, that's like a warm-up set, but when I pick up that weight, I still feel that pain from the deadlift from my lower back, oddly enough to like my right side of my groin. I don't understand what's happening, but I'll try to increase the weight to actually get a better back workout in, but you guys comment down below, like what the hell, did I, I wonder if I snapped something up during that last deadlift set. I was going pretty fast. I don't know why, but. Okay, so I'm doing 45 pounds. I know it's pretty light, but again, my back, like just lifting something heavy just hurts my back for some reason. So I gotta start stretching when I go home. Two more sets. 45 pounds. small plates, so 25 and two tens, just so I can have more range of motion. 
Oh, my back, though, my back. I don't know what's happening. I need to sleep it off. Luckily, I have work on Friday, so I have like another day off. But damn, oh, it hurts. Okay, bicycles. I'm done, bro. I'm done for today. I'm done. So we got to the gym at what time? 10? About, I got about 10.30, man. I got, I got work and stuff to do. So and I then got, we're leaving what time? About uh, noon. <laughs> so about an hour and a half. It's not too bad. Bro, like we suck, man. Like, <laughs> right here. I even slightly considered doing a physique competition. But after watching that video on Rollstar where the guy's shoulder burst open with oil or something, nah. And he was just posing, bro. He was just posing. And I just feel like there's so much, yo, steroids, like, tell me if I'm being true. Like, steroids are so common nowadays. I've even met people in the gym, right? I've met people in the gym who use steroids. I'm just like, damn, like, you would have never guessed. You never would have guessed that this guy was using steroids. And, like, if doing a physique competition means I have to take roids, then nah, I'm not about that life. Do you think people were taking roids during your comp? Honestly, you said you didn't even place. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It was a very nervous experience. Honestly, you go from lifting in a gym, a very comfortable environment, to lifting in front of a crowd. Exactly. Um, it, it was my first experience doing that, and um, I learned a lot from it. Definitely learned a lot, but um, it's something that you have to get used to. Um, a lot of people tell me that it is a big difference. Um, lifting on a platform and trust me it is guys and the training was crazy uh, right like training oh, for it yeah yeah for sure definitely um you know i had um a bunch of people supporting me and uh make sure my training was right making sure I, I made weight and all that stuff so um it was definitely a good experience and something that i'll definitely take um going forward into the future years as a power it's something that i want to do for a long time like i still want to do a calisthenics competition one day that one is going to take a lot of freaking training because oh, yeah. people go crazy yeah, when it yeah, comes to yeah. that. Like, I've seen, I've, I've oh seen those, Oh my gosh. Man. Like, they look cool, though. They look really cool. They and people, really it's cool. funny how people could diss calisthenics. Like, how do you... Like, I don't... That's the thing. I don't diss other people's form of fitness. Like, yo, if you're in fitness, I respect you as long as you're respectable and, like, not a freaking dickhead. But, like, if you do fitness, bodybuilding, powerlifting, calisthenics, Olympic lifting, I don't care what it is. Like, I respect you for at exactly. least, you know, exactly. living that life lifestyle, exactly. being in the grind, exactly. and putting in that work. Like, it's better than sitting on the couch doing nothing. Exactly. But then when people diss me saying I'm so small, or shit, you do calisthenics, you're weak. I'm like, what's the point? Exactly. But then, of course, I remember it's YouTube, and that's where the trolls live, and nobody's like that in real life. Weightlifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding calisthenics you all have to be strong like there, there's and different principles. types of strength exactly too. oh yeah for sure right, right? but the, the principles of strength are all the same right so technically we're all doing the same thing we're trying to progress trying to get better at what we do so it should be a very supportive community in my opinion exactly um, and that's what's family bro yeah. like there's support like yo go into go into my latest video up until now read the comments all support barely any trolls and then sometimes when i don't even get to the trolls dislike when, be, before I even get to the trolls yet, yeah. before I even get to the trolls, sometimes the SOS family would like tear the trolls a new asshole themselves. Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's supportive over here, man. Supportive. CG's channel supportive, but Chris Jones and POG, who trolls take over right here? Live in the hood, yo, deep in the hood, bro. Oh God, bro. <laughs> deep in the hood. Shit, man. <laughs> We're about to go straight ahead. Huh? Yeah, let's go straight through the the tunnel. Don't worry, you're not gonna die, fam. You're not gonna die. Fuck, I got about these shotters. <laughs> Jesus. We got there. God damn. Yeah. This no lie, I think this people. This building looks like it's gonna fucking collapse. Dude. I, I think people got shot here before. Probably. 
I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not saying I think. No, people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Someone got shot right I even, there. I even had a personal experience, bro. Okay, bro. I'm gone. Take see, care, you, man. see you on Friday. Yep. Take We're care, out. SOS family. I'll see you guys. And that's it.